Thanks for staying with us. So yesterday, a viewer went viral when we saw um, local government chairman in Ogun State prostrate for the governor. The, um, the genesis of this was the fact that the chairman of the Jebu East local government, Mr. Wale Adedayo, said the governor had perpetrated the illegal act of diverting their funds since May 2019. That's the allocation to the local government. Mr. Adedayo made the accusation in a letter he addressed to the former governor of, of the state, Olusha um, Goba Oshoba, and uh, made public the, the, the letter on Sunday. Mr. Adedayo is a member of the APC, just like Mr. Mr. Dakwa Biodum. Now, the video went viral when the other members of the local government had approached him, when they had a meeting with him, and um, they were seen frustrating and begging for apolog apologizing, uh, begging for forgiveness from the governor. Um, now, however, Mr. Adebayo is insisting when he spoke to reporters that he, um, he's not going back, he doesn't have, they, don't, they didn't need to apologize on his behalf, but he's insisting that the funds indeed were diverted. This went viral and people were commenting not just on the issue of the di possible diversion, but the fact that they prostrated and they apologetic because he was saying that what they are doing is eye service. You know, it's not um, sincere because they're not being sincere. What are your thoughts on this? Because there are so many, there's few, few, various parts of this, of, this, um, of this situation. Want to go first? The yeah. beauty, this is the beauty of democracy. <clears throat> not the prostrating, but the conversations that we must have. We don't need to agree. Um, I loved what, you know, I said politics when you, we were, you were commenting on the newspaper report concerning how the um, governing council, the GAC for Lagos State, had tried to resolve the impasse between, the, impasse between the governor and the speaker. And um, you said democracy. In strengthening democracy is that we must strengthen every aspect of democracy. The governor, the executives, the governors, the um, local, government. local government and the federal government. Each of these parts, structures, are meant to support one another and in some cases contradict one another so that we can enhance the democratic um, deliverables to the people. So if we just support and we applaud the support and we don't see the times when there are some disagreements as an opportunity for us to grow democratically, then we are going to be shortchanging ourselves. So when the Ijebu, as an Ijebu person, and from Ogun State is my governor, um, when the Ijebu um, person came out, the, this, the um, local government chairman came out to specifically say that these are the diversions that took place. And he wrote the letter to an elder statesman with the intention of, with your position of power, help us to resolve this. And then a group of other people go and beg and prostrate. They speak, it doesn't, it does, that, that move does not strengthen our democracy. The conversation needs to be had. If there is a crime committed, it needs to be prosecuted. If it is not a crime, if it is a case of, there's a part of the law that allows me to do this, but is this working for our people? We, we cannot say because we want to strengthen one hand, we kill the okay. other hand. Right, so see. I feel that in democracy to work, conversations that are tough must take place. We don't have to agree. We don't even need to say bye-bye to each other when we finish the agreement, but the people of the state must be served and they must enjoy right. the dividends of democracy. Okay. That's all. Ma'am. Yeah, so for me, what, I've seen, what, what I see is something I have noticed over a, period, a long period of time, which is we have a theoretical understanding of democracy, but we still act like we are in pre-democratic days. Mm. We still have the obas. We still refer to our governors as the leaders, as the kings, mm. as the obas. So we would revert them, you know, at that level because that's what we're used to. And I'm not too surprised to see people from the local government because they are the grassroots. That is how they would revert someone that they think is, you know, their head. But they need to understand that this is a democracy and there's a different way of dealing with it. If a governor has been accused of doing something, it is... There's a way to handle it. There's a constitutional way to handle it. There's due process. You write a letter either saying that what, the, um, what he was accused of is not true, and you give the facts, you give the numbers, you know, or you go to court. You don't go and prostrate before a governor, a democratically elected governor, and because it sends the wrong message. For me, it sends a message of, um, you know, almost, okay, there are two things. Is it... Because the allegation is saying that the governor diverted over 10 billion, and um, this local government chairman that went to prostrate before him, are they saying that he actually did not divert the money? He gave it to them, and these particular ones that went there have cornered the money somewhere, somehow. 
Or are they saying that, Governor, we know that you have diverted the money, but here we are, we are your stooges, we are here to protect you, you know? So it does, for, so, for the whole thing, it does yeah, not six. look, it, yeah, it does not sell yeah. well for any yeah. party in this. So, so I would have preferred the Governor say to them, you know what? Thank you for your frustration. Go and write a proper letter. We will meet in court. Or this is what I have given to you. How come this particular person mm. thinks that there has been a diversion? That so, is what I want so to So the do. governor himself, let me come to work in a moment. Um, in his response, the, the governor said that he was disturbed by the baseless allegation against him. He expressed surprise at the allegation, noting that rather than starving the councils, he has actually made several interventions on their behalf to lessen their burden. He said um, he, he, along with two other governors, has even gone to... President Bolatinu to help with separate intervention fund for local councils. However, if you recall, the allegation Mr. Adebayo was saying is that the illegal seizure of their funds had crippled local governments in the state and brought their officials to ridicule before citizens of the country. Now, talking about the optics, mm -hmm. this is a constitutionally recognized part of government. Yes. <laughs> Federal, state, mm -hmm. local. The fact that you are Dobalein, you are prostrating for the governor, who is just one arm of government. You are also constitutionally recognized. That's what we're talking about here. So yes, there are allegations on ground, just like you said. We can find a way to resolve it. Either go to court, either you defend yourself, have, a, have the elders come in and say, no, this didn't divert. So this, but the optics of you I, I won't, prostrating I really is the issue. I want to hear yeah. something in. I don't really, it's not even about the Dobalein. Dobalein is a culture. We can, I can prostrate to greet you. I can kneel down to greet YK. I haven't done it, but I can kneel down to greet YK as per Auntie Yenny that is old enough to be my mother out of respect. But as co-host on the show, the conversation is of mutual respect. That's the thing. So it's not the double line. It's that the double line was to apologize from one role to the other. Uh -uh. Mm. No, but you see, no, if, I, I, if, if I'm... If I apologize. If, no, listen. I can prostrate to greet you. They stand up and have a conversation. I can, I can prostrate to greet YK. I can kneel down to greet YK if, if, if there's a personal issue. Mm. But if I'm going to be standing as YK's boss on certain things, where we're having a, a, an issue concerning the job, mm. I'm not going to kneel down YK. So please, oh, become in only one mm. week. Oh, mm. Because mm. We're talking, the issue is about the job. Mm. So I'm not, going to be, I'm not going to kneel down mm. because I'm talking in the, in, in the office of authority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are two different things. So what are your thoughts on the optics of... You see, um, but what, where I'm going to take it from is how we Nigerian people misinform ourselves, or we and we we forget that power is fleeting. Mm. If you go by how Nigerians are going to be prostrating to you and begging you <laughs> and doubling, your head will be like this. Mm. But he didn't ask for his YQ. He didn't ask I, I for his I'm not saying he didn't ask. I'm not saying he asked. Okay. I'm just saying this is it's what we do. The people who are prostrating for you are the people that are killing you. Mm. Go, go. Mm. Those people, mm. I know them for I know them. I, I have experienced them. I know them. They don't like you. They're just doing it for the optics, for the eye service. I have them. I employ them. <laughs> ah, YK power. Uh. That's mm. why like K-Power, they have siphoned half of your money. Mm. So put it, so for this governor, if I, were the, if I had been the governor and the project, I would just say, please, first, stand up. Yeah. <laughs> stand up. Let us talk issue. So yes. I, I, I don't think sitting down and letting them prostrate, doesn't, it doesn't speak well of you. It doesn't speak well of them. They, he should have just said, hey, mm, 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 mm. Mm, Yes. I'm not feeling yeah, me. Get up, get up. Oh, Yoruba people That's now. That's what I expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I also, so when we say local government doesn't work, it's because they've subsumed their own responsibility or their own role underneath, on, under the, the, gov, the gov, governorship role. Because the truth is that even if the funds go to the state government, the state government empowers you, and you also have the authority within your local government. But when you do stuff like this, it lessens the authority that the constitution gives to you. But, don't but you let's think? even put it. Let's even break it down. The way the president is on a federal level presiding over the entire country. Yeah. But even when the president wants to do something in the states, it has to be done in partnership with the states. There are constitutional rules that the go no matter how strong the president is, it is the state that will sign CFO. Is the governor. Same way the constitution empowers the chairman of the local government, who has his jurisdiction, where he is an authority, yeah. where he can dominate. But when you now take away that power, some governors, Lagos state government had to fight 
I remember the previous, um, the former, our current president had to fight when somebody withheld the funds. It's done. It's a way of dominating you. If I control your funds, I, I play the piper. I will determine what kind of tune you will play. And they tried to make the governor of Lagos State then, as she was to do, the president now, to, to dance in a particular way. And he said, no, he ha I have my own constitutional power. He fought it. Generated funds, that is the way we expect local government chairmen to stand based on their constitutional powers. Fight being dominated and deliver democracy to so the that's people. What, that's what Adebayo is that's trying to do. He um, seems Adebayo no, no, is doing. That's what he's doing. Mm. He's doing it the right way. But unfortunately, he's seen as the bad egg. Mm. They mm. have gone to show that we are better than this I man. Service but this man, is, this man clearly is not doing it for himself. He has put his name out there. He understands that there may be political mm. repercussions. Mm. Do you understand? Uh, and he's done it because, you know, enough of me standing in front of my people and trying to explain to them why we can't do this, why we cannot do that. When I know that we have a governor who has these funds, how he has distributed it, I am not sure. ESCC, ITPC, do the right thing. I feel that the governor should even have some, would have, well, if it were me, respect for someone like that, who understands his office, who understands mm. what needs to be done. You see, you know? you know why you can't have respect for him? Because of these ones that are prostrating. Mm. These ones have clouded the, mm. the right thing to do. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They're not going to question as long as uh, just drop any pittance, mm. because I'm not even going to do my work. <laughs> Let me take Yakub. He's been called for a minute. Good morning, Yakub. Thanks for calling. Yeah, yeah good morning, Maria. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I totally agree with you, Morayo. Uh, you see, the reason why these guys are yeah, doing what they are doing is it, it, not because they, they, they did something wrong, it's not because they really love uh, the governor of the state. Uh, you see, that is to tell you that there is no real election that is going on in the locality. Because I want to know in Ogo State today. I don't know maybe they have conducted a lecture in Africa for trusting. Because they did not what they are doing. Because they know the government can remove them. Because the government is so powerful. Mm -hmm. Because they know that there is no real election. If there is a real election, the deepest nation was using. I think you know that if you complain that the Mr. Doctor is advising our, our money, and then you know that you are saying that it's part of your local people, and then you know that you are saying the truth. And then you stand by that truth, you know that your locality can also fuck for you again. Who are you to go to this and go to that for me? For what? The, 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 the locality needs to, 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 to say something that this is our, our chairman. We are going to vote for you again. If you can 